Well, hey guys, it's been a month since the last video. Um, yeah, scenery's changed a bit, you might have noticed. We're out on our new piece of land. This is about 10,000 squares. Um, don't know what that is for your American blokes, but um, it's, a, it's a decent size, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's bigger than the 400 squares I had. <laughs> That's for sure. So I just thought I'd tune in, tell you what's going on, um, as it's been about a month since I have done a video, and just um, take you with me for a bit of a, a journey, a, a tour of the land. So I'm right down the bottom at the moment, and I'll um, just flip you around. So there's a bit of a swampy sort of land out there. As you can see, we're going to plant that out with a lot of natives, things like that. Um, up the hill we've been clearing gorse that was a big that big brownie patch in the middle that that was a, a gorse patch but that's all up the top of the hill now and we've been clearing that out and there's a bit more to go a bit more to go but yeah as we head up to the top of the hill up the bank now there will be more chainsaw videos coming I've just got to get myself set up up. We've only been in here for about a week and the place that I was in before just wasn't appropriate to film in. So that's why no videos. So that's where I've come from, down there. And then that's the fence up there. Some big pines. Those are the neighbours to our to our fence that runs across the paddock there. So all those big pines. But the ones up past are mine. Um, then that's the house and you see the other house up the top of the hill it's got a black fence in front of it that's where our land finishes and wraps around there's a big long 170 meter driveway that goes that way past that other house um, those big pines are, are my neighbors might have to take them down. One of them came down in the wind the other day. Just keep the crap out of us. Here's a big pile of gorse that we're taking out. Been chopping that out over the last couple of days. And we burn it all. But yeah, that's that's pretty much my section. It's got an attached garage at the moment, but I'll be building a bigger shed for the saw, saw building and a bit of joinery. So I might invite you to show you a bit of joinery every now and then, if I'm doing some. There's a lot of work to be done on the land itself so far. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, those two sliders are a couple of lounges off the, off the house there. And uh, here's lots of fruit trees. We're not sure if we're going to keep them there or move them. A bunch of natives planted down the hill. And then where my trailer is. Um, that's probably where I'm going to put my garage. Somewhere in there. Work van. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's, those are all my pines up there. All of those. It's a few. There's a few. The fence crosses right over at that, at that where the fence comes and uh, shoots off into the neighbor's section, which is just like a big rolling paddock. So we've sort of got, we've sort of got houses down that end, um, but with planting, I'm gonna try and obscure quite a few of those. I've got some um, big um, London planes to go in. London plane trees um, so yeah that'll take a while to grow of course but you know everything everything worth having takes takes a while just like getting to a to a place like this where we can you know enjoy a bit of land the kids are loving it even though they're inside at the moment so you can see here the fence just the wire fence this is the wire fence and it just that's my last tree here this one and then it crosses, crosses back over and the neighbour gets all those trees. 
So, for whatever reason, this fence needs a bit of TLC. There's actually a big old strainer in there as well. Must have been a gate there or something at one stage. Maybe. Across the paddock. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of wood around. But yeah, cool to be out here. Loving it. It's just a, just a big playground. So anyway, I'll um, I'll catch up with you guys shortly um, once I get the garage sorted and uh, there's of course the 4.6 build coming that I still haven't touched on, I haven't had time, so the 4.6 and the 2.6.1 are on their way for a build and um, plenty, more, plenty more, there's repair work coming up for saws and everything so yeah it's not going to run out, there's still more saw work to be done. Oh, and I just got a brand new 20 inch bar for my 4.6. Now, that sounds like a little bar, I agree with you. But, my father's thinking about selling the 311, so, so he, might, he might whip off with that somewhere and sell it. So, I'm, I'm thinking I had to get a, a, a smaller bar, so yeah, chuck that on the 4.6, because that doesn't have a bar at the moment. And I'll just use my 25 on the on the 660 and then uh, yeah if I need a 36 I can just grab one off my mate he's got a 36 just sitting there nice full chiz and everything so yeah new brand new 20 inch bar I'll show you um, on the 46 uh, full chiz chain Just the right size sort of land for me to be able to work full time and cope with during the weekends and the wife cope with as well and everything like that so yeah pretty easy all together so keep watching good stuff's coming i'll show you a bit more work on the land as we progress and of course the shed as it goes up and and uh yeah more and more more and more stuff's on the way so so lots of stuff to look forward to i'm looking forward to it it's um, the start of, uh, of a cool chapter in our lives uh, for me and my wife and my boys. And they're loving it. They've been helping me out, helping me with gorse, smashing it all down, chopping stuff. Got them some mean little hatchets to chop stuff with. So they're, they're loving it. Having heaps of fun. Anyway, guys, I'll say see you later for now. Still for life, and we'll catch up soon.